country sent their young men to fight in France and Belgium, many of whom never returned. But 51 villages welcomed back every single one of their men when the war ended. Well, they've been known ever since as the thankful villages, and now a group of motorcyclists are travelling to each of them from Herodsfoot in the southwest to Meldon in the northeast, presenting them with a plaque to mark their special status. Well, the only one in our part of the country is Knowlton in East Kent. Peter Whittlesey spent the day there. A war memorial that celebrates life, not death. That's because Jack Speed and his comrades from Knowlton all survived the Great War. To commemorate the 100% survival rate, a group of bikers is visiting the 51 communities in Britain whose sons all returned home from battle and were dubbed the thankful villages. Knowlton is important because it has a memorial dedicated to those who came back, but it's a sponsored commercial um, memorial dedicated to the 12 who went away and came back out of a total population of 39. If you think about it, that's nearly a third of the village went away to, to fight and came back. So it's officially known as the luckiest village in the United Kingdom. Following the horrors of trench warfare, history has judged them lucky. But back in 1919, when this memorial was built, they were declared the bravest because Knowlton had the highest number of volunteers per head of population in the country. A relative of three of the soldiers named on the Roll of Honour received a commemorative plaque on behalf of the village. Um, the connection here is um, my great-grandfather and grandfather um, and his brother, um, Douglas, were the three of Speeds who volunteered at the start of the First War. And they, um, well, my great-grandfather released all the farm workers um, to go to the war. Over the years, Knowlton's claim as a thankful village has been disputed because it's argued it's a country estate rather than a village. But historians say it wasn't unusual for whole workforces to enlist together. So if the uh, Lord said, come on, we're going to war, you went to war. And that happened all over the country, yes. But it also happened in factories and football teams. They joined up together and they became what were known as PALS battalions. During their 2,500-mile trip to all the thankful villages, the bikers hope to raise £51,000 for the Royal British Legion. Peter Rickersee, BBC South East Today, Knowlton. Remembering those that returned to Knowlton. Now, Baroness.